Hey, it is a beautiful fall day and I am looking forward to raking leaves today. Now you might say, what in the world, Carrie? What are you talking about? Why don't you pay somebody else to do that? I find a weird satisfaction in bagging the leaves. I know that sounds a little odd, but you know, as content creators, as thought leaders, I just got done doing the Igniting Souls conference, then doing a trip to DC with my son as an eighth grade chaperone. It was fantastic, but we're talking go, go, go. And today's Saturday and there's college football and Kelly's making a great dinner and the leaves in the backyard are gonna be bagged. And I'm looking forward to it. I think sometimes we think that every day we need to crush it. Every day needs to be this massive achievement. But sometimes there's deep satisfaction in just doing the mundane things of life. There's almost this peace. There's almost this reset for your body, your brain. And I think that we need that. I think that if we just go constantly without resting. It's not good. It's not good for our brains, our bodies. This morning I got up and did a uh, fantastic workout with Chet and a guy we called J-Mo. It was intense. It was fun. And it was great. And I just want to encourage you, not every day do you need to create. In fact, recently I, I shared in, a, um, in my private mastermind fire ring I shared that I don't work out every day. And I think some people were surprised. They were like, really? I don't like to work out every day. I actually don't like to read my Bible every day. Now you might say, what the heck? Most days I do. Like most days I do work out. Most days I do read my Bible, but not every day. And I'll tell you why. Because I fell into years of just legalism and years of rote and ritualism, whether it's religion, whether it's working out. And what I've learned is that at least for me, I need rhythms. I need rhythms because ritualism versus rhythms isn't good for my brain. It's not good for my body. Now, your personality might not be able to do that, where you kind of give yourself some grace because you might feel like you'll fall off the train or the wagon, as they say. Um, I don't really worry about that. I just know that I need the rhythms of life. And today it's bagging leaves. I wonder what yours is today. Let me know. Take care, everybody. Be a soul on fire. And listen, if you have not signed up for Igniting Souls Conference 2020, 10-year anniversary, tickets are already halfway gone and we're a year away. So don't get left out. Be a soul on fire. We'll see you.